Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a complete breakdown of the Cyber Governance Risk and Compliance Mastery Certification offered by the Unix guy. Now, cybersecurity governance, risk, and compliance has been a hot industry in the past few years, but there's not really a clear roadmap or certification path to take in order to break into the industry. So when Unix guy reached out to me to take this certification and also give my honest opinion on what I thought about the certification, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to take it myself and also present my ideas and my opinions to you as well with that being said though in terms of what we'll talk about in this video number one is going to be what you should expect in terms of content in this certification what exactly are you going to learn and lastly whether or not i believe it's worth taking and whether or not you should consider taking it as well if you are new to the channel my name is ben and i make videos about my journey in cybersecurity. so make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and also be sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok at cyber with ben for more lifestyle and career advice content. If you want to check out this certification, I'll leave a link in the description below. So make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. So the first thing I want to touch on is the background of this certification and also the instructor that's teaching this certification. So this certification is taught by Abed, AKA Unix guy. He has over a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube and he has years and years of experience working in governance, risk and compliance and cybersecurity in general. So like I said before, governance, risk and compliance doesn't really have a clear defined path or roadmap in terms of certifications. So this is going to be a great place to start, especially if you're someone who is brand new and has no background in cybersecurity. So this certification is actually jam-packed with a lot of knowledge and value and it's actually pretty big. So let's go ahead and go over the 10 different modules that you should expect when taking this certification. So in this certification, you're going to have 10 different modules that go over 10 different aspects of governance, risk, and compliance. You're going to start off with module one, the introduction to GRC. It's going to show you exactly what GRC is and give you a basic understanding of the entire industry. At module two, we have cybersecurity risk management. This is going to go over exactly how risk management works in cybersecurity. Next, we have cybersecurity audit. So pretty much auditing in cybersecurity. Module four, asset management. Module five, identity and access management. Module six, security security, education, and awareness, data loss prevention in module seven, module eight, cybersecurity detection and incident response, module nine, third-party risk management, and lastly, module 10, penetration testing and vulnerability management. And at the end, it also includes a capstone project that you can use to test out your knowledge and you actually build out a cybersecurity program from scratch. And then also it comes with a bonus section that helps you get hired as a GRC professional in terms of optimizing your resume and LinkedIn. So overall, these 10 modules are going to go over so many different aspects in cybersecurity. So you're getting a lot of value in this certification. Not only is it focusing solely on governance, risk and compliance, but it's also giving you an overall understanding of cybersecurity as a whole. Now, throughout these modules, towards the end, you also see some knowledge checks, so small quizzes and also some practical assessments that you can use to write up your answer. So a free response question that way you can test your knowledge and test your understanding after every single module. The modules themselves are comprised of videos with a bed talking to you. And there's also some reading sprinkled in as well. The videos are really engaging and easy to follow. He doesn't use any crazy vocabulary or jargon throughout the video. So it's really easy to understand for beginners and the videos themselves are pretty engaging. So it's easy to follow and understand what he's trying to explain. So overall, this certification is going to expose you to several different foundational concepts. And it's going to teach you foundational concepts in terms of governance, risk and compliance, but also different concepts in cybersecurity as a whole. Whole. The main goal for this certification is to provide you with the knowledge and skills necessary in order to perform at an entry level governance, risk and compliance role. And after earning this certification myself, I think this certification does a great job at doing exactly that. There's so many different pockets and niches and specialties of governance, risk and compliance. So I think this certification does a great job at exposing you to multiple different parts of governance, risk and compliance. One of the main value propositions that this certification has to offer is going to be the capstone project that you'll find towards the end of the certification. This is going to be a great way for you to test your knowledge and test your skills on a hands-on practical capstone project. The capstone project is an end-to-end -end assessment of an organization's cybersecurity posture following the NIST framework. So this is going to test you on something that you might see in a real world scenario in a governance risk and compliance job. Another bonus of this capstone project is that not only can you add the certification onto your resume, but you can also add this capstone project as one of your projects on your resume as well. It's going to look really good for employers on your resume. It's going to show that you have some hands-on experience in terms of governance, risk, and compliance projects. 
So if you're someone who is looking to break into governance, risk, and compliance within cybersecurity, and you have no prior background in cybersecurity at all or technology experience, this certification is going to be a perfect place to start. You're going to get a lot of value from this certification, and it's also helped a lot of people in the past as well. So if you're interested in checking out the certification, I'll leave a link in the description below, so make sure you guys check that out as well. And also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at CyberWithBen for some more short-form content, motivational, and career advice content. With that being being said though guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace